Today we have this really cool differential equation, and the structure is pretty exotic. Our strategy here will be to convert this into a structure that's pretty simple, but that simple structure will still lead to an exotic solution development and a really cool result. First up, let's invoke logarithms to get that simple structure I was talking about. So we have log y to the dy by dx equal to log e to the x. Now this implies that log y times dy by dx using the properties of the logarithm equals x. Okay, cool. This is a separable differential equation and there's a very nice way of writing this. We have log y dy equal to x dx. Now integrating with respect to the variables on either side, on the left hand side I have using integration by parts y times log y minus the integral of y times the derivative of log y which is 1 by y dy. Now on the right hand side I have x squared by 2 plus a constant of integration that we're going to call c by 2 just so we can combine them into x squared plus c divided by 2. And on the left hand side we have y times log y minus y. Now you could just call it a day and express the final result as x in terms of y but that looks just plain boring. And according to the book of Saint Gigachad, thou shall not leave the result of thy differential equation in a form devoid of gnarliness. So we're going to look for an explicit solution of y in terms of x that looks cool. And for that, we're just going to play around with the left-hand side using the properties of the logarithm. So we have log y to the y minus this thing here can be written as log e to the y. And on the right, we have x squared plus c divided by 2. So using the properties of the logarithm, we can express the left-hand side as log y divided by e to the y equal to x squared plus c divided by 2. So exponentiating, this gives us y divided by e to the y equal to e to the x squared plus c divided by 2. And of course you can take the yth root of everything and write this as y by e equal to e to the x squared plus c divided by 2y which indeed looks pretty cool, but how exactly do we get y explicitly in terms of x now? Thankfully, there's a really cool function that can help us with that. I'm talking about the Lambert W function. So Lambert W of z is defined as the inverse function of another function s defined as f of z equal to z times e to the z. So that means if you apply the Lambert W function, to the function f of z, it returns the variable z. In other words, lambert w of z times e to the z equals z. And it's this property that we're going to utilize to get an explicit solution for y in terms of x. Notice in the equation in green, our z equals x squared plus c divided by 2 times y. So we have the e to the z thing covered, but we're missing the z term itself. So I can get that by expanding by x squared plus c by 2y. So that means I have y by e times x squared plus c divided by 2 times y equal to x squared plus c divided by 2 times y times e to exactly the same thing. Okay, cool. So that means... If I apply the Lambert W function to the equation I have, what I get on the right-hand side will be the argument x squared plus c divided by 2 times y. And here, of course, I've applied the Lambert W function with the y's canceling out quite nicely, and I have Lambert W x squared plus c divided by 2 times e. That does look pretty cool. And notice that you can isolate the y variable pretty easily now. So this implies that y equals x squared plus c divided by 2 times Lambert W of x squared plus c divided by 2 times e. 
which is a pretty cool result indeed. It's the second time on the channel I've utilized the Lambert W function. The first was with an infinite power tower integral, and that yielded a beautiful solution development indeed. And this differential equation was a treat as well. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you. See you next time.